Alrighty then, hello everyone, and welcome to my Let's Play of Plants vs. Zombies 2 Reflourished. This is some fan-made DLC that, um, recently released for, um, Plants vs. Zombies 2, and, uh, I'm, I'm a big PvZ fan. I, I really liked PvZ 2, um, I'm planning on getting more into, like, the shooter games and stuff. Maybe I'll even get some content in on, like, that. But, um, yeah... So, this is some, uh, fan-made DLC for PvZ2 that's apparently been, like, uh, two years in the making, so I, uh, hope it's gonna be good. So, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be playing through the original Plants vs. Zombies 2, as well as, like, the Reflourish DLC when it comes up. And, like, the Reflourish DLC essentially just, like, adds, like, new levels and stuff, new zombies, and some entire new worlds after you beat the game, so it's all gonna be pretty exciting, but let's, like, not, like, waste any more time and hop right into it. <laughs> Ancient Egypt! Please wait 4,500 years for your tacos to be ready. More or less. That doesn't smell right. I'm sure my tacos are somewhere, but in the meantime, these plants were made for planting. Alright. I already got some plants in like my inventory here. So I should probably like explain like what each one does. So, um, there's of course like sunflower that like generates like extra sun. So you see like sun falls like from the sky and that's like what you use to like plant your plants. Which you can use to like defend against like your zombies here. So I just planted like a pea shooter, which like as its name suggests, like, spits out peas, so it, like, she shoots out peas to, like, hit the zombies. Oh, and there's, like, other, like, kinds of zombies that'll, like, appear, like, in the different worlds. Like, this guy, he, like, sucks up your sons. We all want that. So I'm just gonna kill him as quickly as possible. Oh, no, you So... On the right here, you'll see I also have this, uh, walnut-looking thing. I can place that down, and that, um, stalls a zombie from, like, coming. So you see, he's, like, busy chewing on the walnut. Alright. I'm so sorry, buddy. I, I gotta use you as, like, for my own benefit, so... Tough luck, I guess. But hey, you only got, like, part of his cranium. Get off, so I guess it ain't that bad. I uh, also got this like potato mine thing, which you can like sit down, and then you can like, like once it set itself up, once like a zombie like walks into it, it like immediately blows up and like kills them. It, it's freaking awesome. So yeah, as you can see, I, like, uh, just, like, picked up, like, a coin, which I can use, like, in the shop for, like, money and stuff. I mean, like, not money, sorry, sorry, like, upgrades for, like, my plants. Like, increase their fire rate and their damage and stuff like that. So yeah, cool stuff, I guess. Nope, nope. Get back here, son. Got a gem. That's gonna be useful later. So, I'm gonna plant one of these buddies. This is what we call a cabbage pult. As you can see, black, black. It like fires like cabbages at zombies, and it like goes over like obstacles, like uh, graves and stuff, which we're gonna see later. Find a mine there, just in case. Baby, dude. Go. This is coin. You guys get this guy. Bada bing, bada boom. We're good. We have over a thousand sun to spare, and. Wait a second, why am I gonna catch both again? 
Okay, I guess I wasn't meant to get it yet. Because I, like, skipped the entirety of the tutorial. So, I don't know, maybe it's like a glitch or something, I'm not sure. That plant looks hungry. You can feed it. Plant food is packed with vitamins and minerals. An essential part of a complete breakfast. So, see, here's another mechanic. If you, like, drag one of these things on your plant, you'll get, like, super powered up and, like, like, be able to do this, like, special thing that just, like, KOs, like, a ton of zombies. So you can, like, really use it if you're in a pinch. I wonder if that works on other types of plants. Well, of course I did. I just explained it. So already got some walnuts set up there. Also this, uh, shovel down here that you can use to, like, remove plants you don't want. Now, the zombies are being especially annoying today, aren't they? I mean, seriously, dude, just shut up. Yeah, more lag. You see, I'm like... I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but... I play, like, all my PC games on, like, a Surface Pro 6 laptop, which isn't exactly the best at, like, running games. But I'm gonna be getting, like, a Steam Deck for, like, my birthday, like, six months from now. So, hopefully that'll help with, like, the quality of my videos, like, when I'm recording PC games. And so we just keep planting stuff here. So, um, if you want to, like, download this mod for yourself, um, I'm playing it on a, a Bluestacks, like, phone emulator on my PC. If you want to learn how to, like, install, like, that and, like, reflourish, uh, I'll link, like, a tutorial video I found, like, in the description below. It, it's really useful if you want to, like, play this game for yourself and if you're, like, a PVZ fan like I am. Yet. I should be giving away better commentary right now. Seriously, like, the Cabbage Pulse Ultimate is freaking awesome, man. Oh, I hope we got a map. Map of Space Timeness. A parchment of ancient lands with cosmic implications. Whatever that means. Like I said, my PC isn't like the most powerful thing in the world, so bear with me here. Now this looks like the map to my taco! To be precise, this is a world map where you can find plants that can help us end. Here's a day if there are more important things at hand, they do not get my taco! Alright, so, like, basically, like, the story of PVZ2 is basically just, like, Crazy Dave, like, had this, like, quote-unquote, perfect taco, and now, and then he, like, like, went back in time to get it, and now, like, by accident, we ended up, like, here, like, like, Penny said, like, the RV. We are, like, 4,500 years away from, like, when he ate the taco, so now we gotta, like, time travel all the way back. It, it's so stupid, but I love it so much. Also, I found some spare change. Hey, you're finally making sense! Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm 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 Why? Because I'm crazy! 
spend those coins and welcome. Okay. Things get rough stuck on plant plant on plant food. Yeah, so you can basically just like buy plant food with like coins and stuff. Alright. Alright, I'm just gonna fast forward through this. Because I don't want like the file size on this uh video to be too big. But I swear, I, I will play the original Plants vs. Zombies on my channel. I, I will. I will. I am not going to be insulting the community. Not now, not ever. Especially in the stick PVZ is in right now. targets in its lane twice. Very good. No need for sun, plants are coming via special delivery. Yeah, I know, I know, I've been using the turbo button. I'm like, I'm actually like kind of disappointed that like EA didn't like make the soundtrack for this game available on Spotify like the first game was. It's like so cool to like be able to listen to like soundtracks for this game because like I personally think it's really good. At least it's like what I played. Yeah, that's gonna be a good time. A really good time, actually. 
One and down. Jesus. Crazy Dave's Char Preserve Powers. Use only a jam. <laughs> Get it? Because it's jarred and jam. Do not use the quality seal's broken. Where you can read about plants and zombies. I mean, like the interactive Mom, Mac. Mom, Mom, Mom. Yeah, that would never work. I probably screwed up that joke right there. Uh, I'm so sorry. This seems in the anomaly in space and time. Perhaps we should take it. We could if my game would freaking load. Is the almanac to do new things that do exist in our reality. Okay, I guess I can't visit the almanac now. Alright, so we'll do one more level and I think I'll stop recording. You have some power ups. I'll show you how to use them. Yeah, now to break the seal. Let's get crazy. Alright, so. So they're basically like three types of power ups. The first one is power of snow, which, like, uh. Basically has, like, the same effect as, like, uh. Snow pee from PVZ1. Or just like slow down, slows down zombies by like freezing them. And then we have the power toss, which you can basically just like flick the screen once it's activated. Just like flip, flip the zombies like out here. <laughs> so funny. And then we have the power zap, which is like basically just like electrocutes them. Like, like how many zombies are on the point right now? on it and extinguishes flames. Nice. Mm 
Bobby, this is a tiny, whiny thing anomaly in the store. Let's get rid of it. <laughs> it will take some time to fix this to these. Yeah, this is another tutorial. Just straight up just teaching me how to buy stuff in the shop. episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2 Reflourish. I hope you all enjoyed this, and if you want me to do a part 2, please let me know. But for now, I've been the Orange Pikmin, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.